people ask me what I do, I usually say that I'm trying to save the world. But when pressed for more specifics, I admit that I'm a nuclear scientist. I design and model nuclear reactors, baseload, scalable, carbon-free, and safe energy. Back in grad school when I was working on my thesis, I came up with a wild theory called virtual density. And now, I actually get paid to use that theory in my home city of Seattle. How awesome is that? What I usually don't tell people, however, is that not only am I a nuclear scientist, but I'm also a nuclear freak show. I have chronic itches in my brain, itches that compel various parts of my body to contort and convulse. Although I can usually avoid scratching those itches in public at the cost of great physical intensity, sometimes I don't have as much good of control when I'm stressed or when I lose concentration. I've been pulled over by police who think I'm having a seizure behind the wheel. I've been followed in stores. I've been asked to leave Starbucks. I've been asked to justify my fitness to board an airplane. If you haven't guessed by now, I have Tourette's syndrome. Rather than descend into a dark web of bitterness and finger pointing, I've always tried to make no excuses for myself and have a positive attitude. I tend to have a very uh, lighthearted attitude about Tourette's syndrome. For example, when I hear friends joking about the substance abuse-driven antics of a homeless person they saw on the street, I interject with, you know, that sounds like me on the weekend. Except, I don't have to use drugs or alcohol because I'm already awesome. <laughs> it's not always easy, though. Back when I was a grad student uh, studying for my PhD, uh, a bunch of my fellow students, for some reason, thought it would be hilarious to make up rumors and inside jokes that I am a crazy person who's going to come to campus and start shooting people. Me, nuclear scientist, next mass murderer. Not a good combination, right, when you're trying to start off your career? Not good. Um, and, you know, so here I am, is, is this, this young person with a stigmatized disability trying to make a, a name for myself professionally, and I'm being slimed with all these, like, sick stereotypes that undermine my credibility. And um, that was not cool. <laughs> so the nuclear community, unfortunately, is small. And years later, I'm still struggling to be taken seriously as a professional. And it hurts like hell. Unfortunately, this story is about hope. In the midst of my anguish, I found purpose. Unjust shame has actually honed my character in three ways. Empathy, authenticity, and strength. First, I'm empathetic toward oppressed and marginalized people, those whose potential is all too often thwarted by negative labels and stereotypes. I want to champion the downtrodden, not because I understand bias intellectually, not because I've read all the social psychology literature, and certainly not because of any political ideology I ascribe to, but simply because I've felt the agony myself. I know the pang, it's sharpness. Second, my relationships are authentic. When you're a freak show, you can't schmooze. You can't negotiate to get what you want. Uh, people don't pretend to like you to uh, boost their social status, right? Frivolous flattery and pretension are filtered out, stripped away. Your relationships are real. You have fewer friends, but truer friends. You don't date as much as most people, and you get rejected much more often, but when you do find love, it's bare and raw and mutually edifying. You don't fall in love, you rise in love. <laughs> Six months ago, I met a woman more beautiful, intelligent, and caring than I ever imagined. And I told her everything about my messy self, and she says that she'll be my greatest supporter and advocate for anything I want to do in life. And that was the sexiest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Third, I'm strong. As a twitchy teenager struggling to figure out who I was and why I felt so alien, I identified with Superman. Like me, he grew up yearning to be normal but developed bizarre abilities in adolescence. Like me, he tried to hide his true self from the world, but because he was too afraid that society would not accept him. Eventually, though, he converted that shame into strength. He leveraged his uniqueness to inspire people and save the world. And so that's my path forward. You know, I can save the world through nuclear energy, but I can also help save the world in a different way, through inspiration. Uh, so to anyone here tonight who
who is downtrodden, depressed, heartbroken, destitute, abused, mentally ill, addicted to substances, marginalized anyway, I want you to know that you can be strong. And I couldn't say that, and I couldn't know that if I weren't one of you. Your life is a story that you write. You can't change the past, and you can't change how you were born, but you can use any circumstance for good starting today, tonight. Your weakness is strength. Your pain has purpose if you let it. Your disabilities can be abilities. You can be strong like Superman. Thank you.